What's up guys, main man Sui here and welcome to Claudio's 8 minute guide. Claudio is a very, very simplistic character favoring ease of use and he has larger than life attacks that cover multiple situations at once. And he has a very unique mechanic in the star burst that enhances certain moves. Uh, the trade-off is that he has subpar poking and subpar lows. Though this used to be more of a problem in previous seasons, they've been buffed since then, but he does specialize, I would say, in highs and mids. So, first move to start with is the hop kick. Da! The best hop kick in the game by far. It has enormous range. He evades, you know, he crushes lows, evades a lot of highs and mids. You'd be surprised at how many attacks are just gobbled up by this hop kick. Uh, but the range, man, Jesus. Uh, so an amazing whiff punisher, great keep out tool, can be used even offensively, uh, just because of the crushing attributes and the fact that in beginner and intermediate ranks, a lot of people don't have a hard time punishing hop kicks at minus 13. And I think this move is uh, a big factor in that uh, Claudio has, uh, outside of DLCs, best win-loss data online. Uh, so the hop kick here, yeah, godlike. Uh, and then back one, a super mid, I like to call them. Uh, 18 frames fast, long range, knockdown mid, 25 damage, wall splat, homing. Uh, if they do a jumping attack, it will screw them. Uh, only minus five on block, and Claudio takes a step back after doing it, putting him at a safer ra uh, range. Uh, so yeah, this move, uh, yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, 18 frames fast, and then we have forward free. Also 18 frames, this is the high version of back one. And why do we want to do a high version? To get a neutral on block, completely resets, neutral. And should it counter hit, launch for big chunky damage. And then we have while running two, which is a plus seven high, very fast attack. If I can do it. If you do two in a row like that with good execution, uninterruptible. Again, plus seven high, hits like a truck, 40 damage on a normal hit. Uh, devastating move. If you get good at that move, people will want to duck you, and then that's when you go up for devastating mids. Um, and then back free is the poke of choice many times when we go with the mids because his, the universal downward wind is not 13 frames. It's not 14 frames, it's 15 frames. It does have a follow up in a launcher. This is a natural combo, twin piston, but it's minus 15 on block. So if you want a quick mid check, we do back free. Unfortunately, not very good range. Uh, minus four on block. Does have a follow up in back free free. Not a natural combo, minus 12 on block, but very delayable. And if it counter it, blam, launch. Cool move for lows. We have sidestep four. Again, it's from a sidestep, so that's a little bit clunky. Comes out at 20 frames, but plus six on normal hit. Minus, minus 12 on block, if we can get a block, thank you. And I'll counter it, knocks down into 42 damage. Great damage. Uh, so some other cool moves. Uh, his down for free, 14 frame mid, minus seven on block. Can add a two for a minus two high. Or we can do down for free one, and this is actually hit confirmable very easily. You see it connect, and uh, you add the one, and uh, wall splat. Very hit, super hit confirmable. Great string, great string. Up for free, jumping mid, plus two on block. A little bit slow at 23, but counter hit launcher. Very nice. Two one, high mid string, comes out at 12 frames, minus six on block, but you can add a final hit to try to catch them off guard. It's a nice string. And then down back free, a low that immediately crushes highs. It instantly high crushes. Uh, and, you know, plus three, chunky damage, uh, counter it launcher, it's really nice, but people with really good reflexes who know the animation can react to that. Damage for free, very fast low, low high, natural combo, but again, if they block, be careful. But I like this due to the speed. And then down for uh, very long range, low poke. Minus two on hit, minus 13 on block, but the, the range make it, makes it uh, a very nice tool. And then Starburst, after Claudio connects certain attacks, like back two, for example, or his 12 frame punish, 4-2-2, two, two, 
uh, or maybe back forward two, adding a combo with that. Uh, he, his hand starts to glow blue, and now certain attacks, you can see in the command list, uh, certain attacks are enhanced, and only once. As soon as you've done an enhanced attack, the starburst goes away, and you once again have to land one of these starburst activating attacks to go back into starburst. But once you are there, forward 1 plus 2, 1 plus 2 launches. This does not launch outside of starburst and it is very delayable. Like, uh, you can try to do forward one plus two, forward one plus two, and then add the second hit, blam, to launch them. And it's safe at minus nine on block. But most interestingly is down to two. This is a low, low launcher. Again, they, it's, it's quite easily reactable if they know the animation. And as you saw, you can block it at minus 12. Uh, but if they don't react to it, and again, you don't have to do the second hit, you can just do this. Again, like with forward 1 plus 2, and then try to add the second hit to catch them off guard uh, and launch them. Uh, God, this is so annoying. Uh, here we go. Lap, lap, like so. Uh, so that's really nice. Uh, and then we have an unblockable. Boom, like so. Most people will eat that, but super good players can block the initial hit and then sidestep or backdash and launch you. You're minus 9 million if they do so. But most people will not do that. They will guard and then what? And it's very hard, even if you're really good, to react to that and sidestep if, if you do it from out of the blue. And then down 1 plus 2, mid mid string in Starburst, plus 8 on block. Uh, back 4, 3, 2 in Starburst uh, is a very strong uh, wall combo. So some really cool Starburst stuff. Uh, and then for Punish, 10 frame, 1, 2, 12 frame, 4, 2, 2 into Starburst. 15 frame, hop kick launch while standing, 11 frame while standing 4, 12 frame while standing 1, 1. Corny animation, but plus 9, really nice. And then hop kick at 15 or while standing 2 into Starburst. So that's Claudio, very simple, very simple game plan uh, and effective. So how do we counter him? Be, be very careful wh when you play against Claudio and see if you're facing a hopkick spammer. I just try to wait, you know, just look at them and study them at the, in the first round and see if he throws any hopkick and if he does, do the max punish on that every time. You don't want him to get away with hop kicks ever when you fight this character. Don't really try to step, in my opinion, due to the strong space control. And don't duck. The lows are subpar. But the mids are just so strong. So don't duck the character. Uh, the only time you really want to duck duck him is if he starts spamming while running twos and he's very predictable. Duck and while stunning punish. Or if he's throwing these chunky lows all the time, then start ducking. But see, you really have to study how he plays. But um, in the very first round, don't duck. Just try to see how he plays. Uh, and Starburst down to two. Uh, learn, study that animation. You have to block this on reaction. And it's very reactable. Um, and then there are lazy strings, like down forward free one, minus 12, back free free, minus 12, punish those. If he ends to the two one string, he is uh, minus 13, I believe. And then four free is high high, duck and launch punish. Thanks for watching my guide.